all right guys welcome back to the channel so if you guys already know we turbocharged the r18 civic ebay turbo kit pieced together everything works perfectly so far for the most part and as you guys can see in this video i got a freaking intake pipe and it's functional and it's working and i'm gonna tell you guys how exactly i routed this and you'd be surprised how well this works. So keep watching. All right guys, so you install the turbo kit. This is what you're looking at. Just the open turbo inlet. There's no piping whatsoever. It's kind of tight in here, honestly, to put an intake on, but it is doable with a two inch pipe, which that's what our intercooler piping is. Now, ideally, ideally guys, if you want the best performance, you want to take a pipe, route it around here, route it under the battery tray, right where your factory intake is or a colder intake box would be. And that would be inside the bumper here, between the bumper and the fender liner. That's your best spot, best location to get cool intake air temperatures. The cooler the air temperatures are, you get more power, you get less pre-ignition, less knocking, and that's just better for the engine now your second option is if you find a small enough filter here you can probably just rock a small filter directly onto the turbo just you probably have to move this bracket off the other problem is though this this radiator hose here is right in the way and you're still getting a lot of heat you got the upper radiator hose the lower radiator hose so anything in this vicinity is getting heat so the plan b would be just take a pipe and kind of route it here you have enough space here since we took off the factory intake just to put a filter in here just looking at all the piping that i had left over from the intercooler pipes and we came across one pipe here that we had we kind of cut some of this pipe already when we were mocking it up for the intercooler Anyway guys, this is Lily. Lily is scared. It's it's the 4th of July weekend right now and she's just frightened of the fireworks and the bangs. Poor girl. But yeah, man, we used intercooler piping. We had some of these couplers. Remember these are 2 inch to 2 inch with a 90. So we're using those couplers here now since we didn't use them for the turbo kit install. We have one full one and one that we cut in half. As you can see, it's just cut in half, and we bought a just a generic intake filter, just some garbage uh, cheap intake. Tried to, I tried to get the smallest piping I could right here, the size. Some are longer, some are shorter, but this is the one I could find that's affordable and pretty small. And we made a intake that works using just these leftover pieces from the intercooler piping. So check it out this is what we did first we're gonna take our half cut coupler right here now this is a two inch right and our turbo inlet is like a 2.3 inch or 2.25 inch so what we can actually do we can stretch this coupler onto the intake portion of the turbo here a little bit of elbow grease maybe if you want just spray some wd-40 on it it will help but look it goes on, it slips on, and it's, I'm telling you, it's really dang tight. We're to the point you don't have to worry about putting a coupler on here. I've been running, like, I've been running the car like this without a coupler on the turbo, and just the clamping force itself holds it pretty good. But we're going to clock it a certain way, which is going to be beneficial for us, and the next pipe that goes in. All right, this is how you're gonna wanna orientate your pipe right here. We're gonna have this pipe going into the turbo here, and then we got a 90. See, I can't fabricate yet. I got a welder TIG, but uh, I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to pie cuts and all that stuff. So we're using what we got. We got that coupler here. So that's gonna be my 90, and check it out. I'm gonna feed everything through here, right there under my intake charge pipes right there you see you see how close that is right there we're gonna feather that in a little bit give it a little angle bam right on the money there it's not touching the radiator right here it's right up against the fan actually there's a good maybe 10 15 mil of clearance 
it's gonna go right under the pipe here and originally without this coupler I had the filter sitting here pointing that way show you guys if the filter was sitting somewhat like that but it is tight and the engine mounts you see how they're pointing up right here that was actually hitting the filter so we we took that 90 right and look this is not even using any couplers here because everything sits pretty dang tight on on each other the coupler with the pipe so just like that so this coupler actually squeezes inside here because this is a two and a half opening and again this is a, a two inch inner diameter maybe two and a quarter outer but it fits perfectly in here so check it out what we do pop it in right there solid i got a clamp the only clamp i'm running is a clamp right here where the pipe goes in All right we're gonna tighten that down but essentially again coupler that pipe goes around over 90 boom pop it in it's not sitting perfect right now but once we just adjust it a little bit we'll be able to connect that filter mass airflow sensor and everything works good while we have everything apart here I'm just gonna check my dipstick on the transmission fluid because it's it's easier to access when I don't have the filter on the vehicle so I'm gonna check that transmission fluid right now and I'm also gonna take off the oil catch can I have here guys I've been running the oil catch can for about 500 miles beating beating on the car so I'm just curious how it's holding up and if it's actually accumulating any any oils from the engine and blow by so let's check it out i mean we got something in here what what is that that's what i want to know where did that come from it's like rubberized maybe that's something from the catch can i'm not sure just a tiny bit of oil guys i mean it's like and it's just like watered down oil moisture build up or condensation but nothing really so not bad for 500 miles of heavy beating to accumulate almost nothing not bad at all not bad at all we'll clean this up reinstall it you guys can see the little baffles over there and yeah so i guess this is working as as expected all right well that's pretty much a wrap for this video guys i'm really really happy with the intake the way it's working with again with the parts that i already had and you know this is a budget oriented channel we built this in our driveway using ebay parts and legit it works i've been beating on it for some time now still working on the tune a little bit uh still adjusting the the preload on the wastegate a little bit so remember first we had a lot of preload then we went to zero preload right now i'm running half a turn of preload which is it pretty much falls straight on the wastegate maybe with just a little bit of tension and just adjusting that tune accordingly now again the engine bay right here i mean i'm as pleased as i can be Again, ideally, I would love to have this intake wrapping around the bumper and getting colder air, but it's pretty good where it is. I might do the gold reflective tape on the intake here just to maybe see if we can keep intake air temperatures down. There's a guy on YouTube, more Honda or more racing or the Texas Honda channel. He just recently did an experiment where he put gold reflective tape on his intake in texas i believe and he's running 30 degrees colder iets from that modification on his uh, naturally aspirated tl at that time i think he has a supercharger on it now the next thing that i'm planning on doing once i dial in the tune is i'm planning to do something with this exhaust because this is a factory this is a factory lx muffler that we once modified and I'm gonna overlay some videos right now what we did.
right guys we got the pieces removed as you can see the second chamber is nice and open if you actually were a talented person unlike me you can probably make a pipe s pipe joining this to this and actually then at that point it's just a straight pipe and a muffler delete but you still got the stock muffler to keep it super stealth and you can do a lot of combinations like this that nobody really considers doing so i'm pretty happy with this setup right here essentially the air is coming out from here majority of the air is going to be trapped in this chamber and it's just going to come right out so we're really skipping chamber three going back to chamber one and all that so i think at this point i'm going to start patching this up let's get welding and we'll go from there. But essentially we cut the muffler open. We cut up some internal baffling that the muffler had so to limit the amount of restrictions on the muffler. And it did okay. The, the restrictions we took out for being naturally aspirated worked really good. Worked really good. And I did get a little bit more noise out of the muffler and smoother RPM flow. But now, just with the turbo, I can feel so much more air coming out of the exhaust. I mean, it's flowing so much more air. And when I'm flooring it, because I did some drive-bys and the, the front of the car sounds absolutely amazing. Just the suction and the induction noises are, I mean, I can't even compare it to anything because it's just so beautiful. But once the car drives by you, you just hear this this exhaust that's like dying the car's like begging help me so i might do a couple things with the muffler i have some ghetto do-it-yourself ideas in stored uh, so we'll stay tuned for those videos once we get a little bit more dialed in on the air fuel ratios but for the most part it's, it's pretty good. My wide open throttle air fuel looks pretty good. Just gotta mess with some transitional wide open or transitional uh, from vacuum to boost fuel tables and then I think we'll be good. But it's been holding up good. I've been checking daily the oil level. Oil level seems to be holding up quite good. As you guys just saw the oil catch cam barely took any extra contamination out of the engine so it's not creating crazy crankcase pressure i'm not seeing any leaks right now from the engine seals blowing out if you guys watch donut media i know they installed a turbocharger under miata with no uh, pvc system and oil catch can system so he just started blowing oil from the seals because of all that crankcase pressure but we are looking good boys again my oil feed line no leaks that drain line that we did with the with the fitting leaking where we put the rtv gasket maker on there it's holding up exceptionally well no issues whatsoever at this point in time so everything's looking good transmission fluid just checked out again if you guys want to follow the whole build follow the playlist the r18 turbo civic playlist i did a lot of things and i talked about a lot of things before i did this four day turbo install you know i did fuel injectors previously uh, honda civic si 310 fuel injectors we got a transmission cooler here hooked up for the automatic transmission fluid we talked about turbo selection fuel injector selection so much information that you guys can look into so don't just refer back to the last four videos or whatever if you're interested in this kind of stuff but check out the whole playlist from the from the beginning this whole build took me about what i'd say four or five months to plan and we executed it pretty good i'd say everything went pretty smooth except you know that oil pan tapping i knew that was going to be a b and i mean it wasn't that bad but it leaked you know in the future i probably definitely take an extra day where i can drop the oil pan uh weld on a bung just so i don't have to deal with any other issues oil pans are pretty cheap for these cars running about 50 to 60 bucks on amazon so that's a no-brainer but uh, if you guys enjoy these videos make sure you subscribe to the channel so we can make more of these videos make sure you leave a like so the algorithm can hit and we can start getting that ball rolling so we can do cooler projects man but yeah that's about it for this video i'll catch everyone on the next one thanks for watching peace i ain't here for the money i ain't here for the fame though it might be nice to own a jet plane i'ma do it all for you come along and see us true but the world is pretty cold you might need a sweater too i'ma put a ride on ya kid from california trying to make it in life it's cool they never touch
future. Dreams of my own. I've been working.